Three, two, one. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Descent, and today is another Soapbox Sunday. Guys, before we start, I'm gonna do the obligatory YouTube ask here. And that's, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below. Have you guys ever been about to say something and thought in your head, I shouldn't do this, but did it anyway? Yeah, it's about to happen. All right guys, so in typical Soapbox Sunday fashion, we're gonna make this a short and sweet video. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for what I'm about to say. So I'm gonna preface this entire rant with saying, I love these vehicles. I think they're beautiful. I think their performance is incredible. And I would like one. If you're out there, Chevy, hit me up. But honestly, I think this one was a swing and a miss. I'm talking design language or lazy design. See, never once have I seen a Mustang and thought, well, that kind of looks like another car. And yet I do that often with Corvettes. And the C8, is no different. The price point the C8 is at for the performance is something that is going to attract many a buyer. Every picture I see and every review I hear, I think and I hear others say, oh, there's a lot of McLaren in that front end. Oh, you can see they took a lot of Italian cues and Ferrari cues on the sides. And I know some of you out there are thinking, I'm saying it's an ugly car. I'm not. It's equivalent to me saying, oh, well, there's that one supermodel. I mean, she's pretty, but she looks just like that other supermodel. Yeah, they're still supermodels. I know, it's still an attractive car. And if you're gonna steal design language from anyone, steal it from those guys. But the fact is, it's still stolen design language or borrowed design language or imitated design language. It's a missed opportunity to really speak that Corvette design language. Where Chevy missed the boat was they had an opportunity here by changing the entire design fabric of their car, but maintaining that Corvette feel. I think they did keep the Corvette feel, but they stole too many design languages from other brands. This happens a lot. They're not the only brand out there. Have you ever seen a Jaguar and immediately thought, oh, that looks just like an Aston Martin? Yeah, me too. And I think it's lazy design. I think manufacturers are trying to hit certain price points with these cars. They're dumping all their money into the performance features and then sort of getting lazy with the design. Again, I'm not saying these designs look bad. I'm just thinking, Chevy, you had an opportunity to knock this one out of the park and start completely from scratch. And you did on about 75% of the vehicle. I just think you got a little lazy with the design. Hopefully in the next iterations, it becomes more and more Corvette. Anyway guys, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, again, click the subscribe button below and that little bell icon so you can be notified the next time I upload a video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, if you guys are out there thinking, I need to lose some weight or are in a moment where you need some motivation to get off the couch and work out, start a YouTube channel filming yourself. Hmm. Instantaneously taking care of that one. Yeah myself in the last video.